Hey, first grade. We are here with Marvin, and we are going to read the story called A Good Day by Kevin Hankies. Now, as you can see, Marvin is having a really good day because he is taking a really wonderful nap. He always loves to find a spot where he has at least a little bit of sunlight on him, and he has done that, so I know that Marvin is having a good day. Let's take a look at these four different animals inside of our story called A Good Day and see what happens to them. Are they going to have a good day? Hmm. If not, is there something that they can do to make their day even better? Here we go. A good day. And right inside it says, It started out as a bad day for little yellow bird, little white dog, little orange fox, and little brown squirrel. Until a discovery, and love, and luck, and persistence in a difficult point of view changed all that. What can turn a bad day into a good day? You decide. So here we go. A good day. This is one of my favorites. It was a bad day. Little yellow bird lost his favorite tail feather. You can see it floating. Little white dog got her leash all tangled up in the fence. Poor dog. Little orange fox couldn't find his mother. Think about how he's feeling right now. And little brown squirrel dropped her nut. Man. But then, make a prediction about what is going to happen. Little brown squirrel found the biggest nut ever. Little orange fox turned around and there was his mother. Little white dog worked herself free and ran in circles through the dandelions. And little yellow bird forgot about his feather and flew higher than he ever had before. And there's more. A little girl spotted a perfect yellow feather, picked it up, tucked it behind her ear, and ran to her mother, shouting, Mama, what a good day. The end. Take a look at our final illustration. What do you notice in that illustration? Hmm, I wonder if you're noticing the same things as me. What I love so much about our story, A Good Day, is that it's a story about four different characters who all have something that's going wrong for them. And our book could end that way. They could end all having a bad day. But rather than ending with a bad day, what ends up happening is they end up trying to find the brighter side. They end up trying to fix their problem, and they do. You think about the dog, how the dog was able to work himself free of the leash that was tangled. The squirrel, he didn't just say, well, I guess I'm not going to eat today when he lost his acorn. He went and he found another one. And Fox, he turned around and he kept looking for his mother and was able to find his mother. And then finally, the yellow bird, even though he lost one of his favorite feathers, he was able to look down and see that someone else had found his feather and was using it for a better purpose and that made him happy. So what I'm trying to say to you guys is this, we all go through moments of sadness or we all have those moments that we find to be bad, but what are you going to do to make your day good? How can you change a bad day into a good day. What I want you to do is talk about that with a family member. Maybe you could even write a story. Maybe you could even write me a story where the character has some sort of a problem 
And then when they come up with the resolution, their problem is fixed. See if you guys can do that. That is your challenge for today. Marvin clearly liked our story a good day, and he is ready to continue his nap and to continue his good day. I hope you guys are able to have really, really great days, and I look forward to sharing more stories and talking to you soon. Marvin says bye. Bye, everybody.